Hello, you're watching B News Bulletin broadcast from right now. The headlines as Israel. First National Conference on Foreign Affairs opens. UNESCO to consider nomination of Suet Thai as Heritage of Humanity. Introducing Vietnamese cultural identity to international friends. The National Conference on Foreign Affairs opened both in person and virtual forms on December the 14th under the chair party General Secretary Nguyễn Phú Trọng. Today is the first National Foreign Affairs Conference organized by the Politburo and the Secretariat of the Party's Central Committee to discuss foreign affairs of the party, the state's diplomatic activities, and people-to-people -people diplomacy. It also aims to thoroughly popularize the resolution of the 13th National Party Congress, especially policies, guidelines, and orientations regarding foreign affairs of the party, people, and army. Addressing the event, General Secretary Nguyen Phu Trump said, Vietnamese diplomacy is the combination of softness and powerfulness on the foundation of understanding itself and others as well as the situation. He suggested that the diplomatic sector should reform its mindset and seek suitable solutions in external affairs. The party chief underlined the need to show stronger voice and more positive stance in foreign affairs while continuing to popularize and properly implement the external policy of independence, self-reliance, peace, cooperation and development, multilateralization, diversification of relations, active and positive international integration. During Vietnam's Doi Moi or renewal process, the diplomatic sector has posted many important achievements in foreign affairs, helping to take the country's 14 potential position and international standing to a level not seen before. Through the consistent implementation of a foreign policy of independence, self-reliance, multilateralization, diversification, and active international integration, the diplomatic sector has expanded and deepened relationships with many partners. Vietnam has taken advantage of a favorable international environment to mobilize resources from outside to serve as socio-economic development. Vietnam has set up diplomatic ties with 189 of the 193 UN member nations, established economic and trade ties with over 220 countries and territories, and taken part in the free trade agreements. The diplomatic sector has actively promoted comprehensive and extensive international integration so as to continuously boost Vietnam's position and standing. The country has also hosted many major international events and fulfilled important international missions. We have successfully organized important international events and fulfilled important international missions, such as non-permanent member of the UNSC, rotating ASEAN chair, and the host of Asia-Europe meeting the Asia-Pacific Economic Cooperation Leaders Meeting, the USDPRK Summit, and the World Economic Forum on ASEAN, among others. Cultural diplomacy and external relations information have helped promote Vietnam's image in the international arena and persuaded UNESCO to recognize some of its heritage sites as world cultural heritages, contributing to preserving the national cultural identity and developing the social economy. The comprehensive results Vietnam has achieved in all fields during its 35 years of renewal and two years as non-permanent member of the UN Security Council for the 2020-2021 term, together with a recent visit to the UN by State President Nguyen Xuân Phúc on the 44th anniversary of Vietnam joining the UN, once again affirms the correctness of the party and state's foreign policy of independence, self-reliance, multilateralization, diversification, and active international integration. 
Tech Fest Vietnam 2021 took place on December the 14th, promoting innovative solutions to restore the economy. The annual event, the biggest of its kind, has been jointly organized by the Ministry of Science and Technology, along with other ministries, sectors, localities, and social political organizations. Speaking at the event, Prime Minister Phạm Minh Chính said innovation must contribute to achieving the goals set by the 13th National Party Congress, helping improve people's living standards, protecting independence, sovereignty, and territorial integrity, and promoting international integration. In the immediate future, he said, innovation should serve the prevention and control of COVID-19 and economic recovery. It should contribute to addressing emerging issues such as climate change, aging population, and non-traditional security issues. The government leader suggested sectors and agencies introduce specific policies to encourage innovative startups and strengthen international cooperation on the issue. He emphasized the need to form an innovative market, encourage businesses and organizations to use innovative and creative products. At the event, Prime Minister Phạm Minh Ting visited an innovation exhibition. He witnessed the signing of cooperation agreements between the Ministry of Science and Technology and a number of businesses. National Assembly Chairman Vu Dinh Huệ is on an official visit to the Republic of Korea. We joined the legislative leader to see how his trip is processing. National Assembly Chairman Moon Ding Huệ met with Prime Minister Kim Bo Kyum on December the 14th during his official visit to the Republic of Korea. At the meeting, the leaders agreed to support the upgrade of the two countries' relations to a new level. They affirmed efforts to achieve the goal of raising bilateral trade to 100 billion US dollars in 2023 and 150 billion US dollars in 2030. Both sides express their pleasure that the governments of Vietnam and the Republic of Korea have signed an agreement on social securities. The pact is expected to bolster the two countries' partnership amid the increasing number of Vietnamese liberals working in the Northeast Asian nation and vice versa. Chairman Huệ thanked the Republic of Korea for assisting Vietnamese community during the COVID-19 pandemic. Prime Minister Kim Bo Kyum also expressed his thanks to Vietnam for supporting Korean businesses, especially in the context of negative impacts of the COVID-19. Vietnam and the Republic of Korea reached an agreement on social securities between the two governments. The signing ceremony on December 14 was witnessed by Chairman of the Vietnamese National Assembly Vương Đình Huệ, who is on an official visit to the country. Today's Vietnam first comprehensive bilateral agreement on social securities. The countries began negotiation from 2015 and reached consensus on numerous major contents. Under the pact inked by Minister of Labor, Invalids and Social Affairs of Vietnam Dao Ngoc Dung and Minister of Health and Welfare of the Republic of Korea, Gon Tiok Cheo, insurance scheme will be introduced to cover Vietnamese laborers working in the rock and vice versa. The agreement is hoped to bolster the Vietnam Republic of Korea partnership amid the increasing number of Vietnamese laborers working in the ROC and vice versa, as well as pave the way for Vietnam to reach bilateral deal on social securities with the countries and the labor exports markets. A factory producing Russia's Sputnik V vaccine against COVID-19 will be built in Vietnam within one year. The factory is expected to produce 30 to 40 million doses annually. Earlier this month, Bino Farm and the Russian Direct Investment Fund signed a memorandum of understanding with Vietnam's TNT Group on the transfer of production technology and the formation of facility with full cycle production capacity of Sputnik V COVID-19 vaccine in Vietnam. Dmitry Zubov, chairman of Bino Farm, said that it is an important basis for Russia to strengthen cooperation with Vietnam and pharmaceuticals, thereby entering the Southeast Asian market. 
A group of Bino farm experts will work with the Vietnamese counterparts to determine locations for building the factory. Our first task is to map out a pre-feasibility studies on locations and construction costs, and then we will consider signing a contract to build the factory. Both sides will work together on vaccines production training so that the factories can supply vaccines to the Vietnamese market and export to other Southeast Asian nations. The future factory will be a multi-purpose and closed cycle one using advanced German equipment. It can produce other vaccines as well. Nomination of the Art of Sweat Dance of Thai Ethnics of Vietnam as an intangible cultural heritage of humanity will be discussed at the 16th session of UNESCO's Intergovernmental Committee for the Safeguarding of the Intangible Cultural Heritage. As scheduled, the dossiers of the art of Sweat High will be put under discussion on December the 15th. Sweat High is a unique type of traditional dance that is associated with and plays a significant role in the daily life of Thai ethnic communities in the northwest of Vietnam. This is performed in various community activities from festivals to funeral rituals. There's about 33 dances which have been developed, protected and handed down through generations in take over hundreds of years. With gentle and alluring rhythms, dancers usually form a circle around the festive theme and move to the south of melodic traditional music. Vietnam Day scheduled for December the 13th is considered the most important event for Vietnam the World Expo 2020 Dubai. Featuring a variety of activities, Vietnam Day is a chance to promote Vietnamese culture to international friends. A 3D mapping technology show introducing the movie Dragon and Forest Descendants on the world's largest 360-degree dome system of the A11's Plaza. Performances of ethnic musical instruments by 150 artists from the country's different regions. All of these traditional cultural products will be introduced and promoted on Vietnam Day, themed the eternal flow at the World Expo 2020 in Dubai. Vietnamese culture is unique and rich. Dong Nam province in the central highlands, for example, has up to 40 ethnic minority groups living together in cultural harmony, and they want to preserve and promote their cultural value through this international event. With the participation of more than 150 Vietnamese artists, the program aims to introduce the world to Vietnam and its rich culture imbued with national identity, its cultural essence formed over thousands of years of history, and the traditional cultural values of its 54 ethnic minority groups. Our desire is to introduce Vietnam to the world as a country with a diverse cultural identity and opportunities for cooperation in economies, investment, trade and tourism. I'm very happy to join the program and contribute to promoting Vietnamese culture to the world. The World Expo 2020 Dubai lasts from November 1, 2021 to March 31, 2022, attracting more than 190 countries and territories and international organizations. It is expected to welcome 25 million visitors. And that has wrapped up our news bulletin. Thank you for watching and see you next time.